To gondola or not to gondola? Are the gondola resorts really worth the upgrade? Let's check that out. Hey guys, welcome back to Fun Fiero. I'm Andy. I'm Liz. Guys, we're here to share our fun, love, and passion for all things Disney with you guys. So thanks for hanging out with us today. If you're brand new to our channel, please consider subscribing for Disney content every single day. Like the video, give it a big thumbs up and a share. All right, so gondola resorts, is it worth the upgrade? We have four different resorts on the gondola line. We've got two values. So the Pop Century and Art of Animation are values. Caribbean Beach Resort is a moderate. And then the Riviera Resort is a deluxe resort. So you have different options to choose from as far as your resort level. Yeah, okay. and it's also a DVC resort, the, it is. the, the Riviera. Riviera Resort is also a DVC resort. Yep. So Art of Animation, Pop Century, they are both value resorts, okay? Um, the Pop is about $40 more than the All-Stars, and Art of Animation is about $60 more than the All-Stars. And we just picked a random day six months from when we filmed this to just kind of check pricing information, not a holiday weekend, nothing like that. Um, and those prices are pretty standard. Sometimes you can get them lower, sometimes they're higher. It just all depends. Right. So that's kind of the price breakdown. As far as food goes, I'd say that all the value resorts are pretty similar in food. Yeah. Okay. For the most part. You know, for the most part. It's pretty standard stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then the gift shops are a little bigger at the Pop Century and Art of Animation than they are at the All Stars. And at those on the gondola line at the Pop Century and Art of Animation, you also have like kind of like that market that you can go to to yeah. kind of kind yeah, of get some kind of grab, like, odds and ends and, and just drinks. grab it there. You yeah. know, it's kind of refrigerated. Um, so yeah, that is definitely true. The, yeah. the Art of All Stars they have like a little bit cooler yeah. in the gift shop, but it's just not <laughs> as extensive. Right. So um, the pools are a little bit nicer at Pop and Art of Animation. All right, yeah. the pool bars, every resort has the pool bars. I think out of all the value resorts though, for us, I think Pop Century is the best bang for your buck for sure. on the gondola resort line. Uh, because Art of Animation, the aerial room, is the pretty much the same size as the all-star room. It, it's the exact same size. Yeah. Square footage wise, it's the same as an all-star resort. So yet you're yeah, paying a little bit more. that increase in price for being on the gondola line and that increase in price for being at the Art of Animation. Yeah. So with the Pop Century though, you get more space. It's actually and half more storage space. More storage space too. So it's half again bigger than the, the normal all-star resorts rooms right. and the Little Mermaid rooms. And we are park warriors. So most of the time when we go down and we say we stay at a resort, we're gone for most of the day. Right. But still that extra storage, we need the storage. that you get in the Pop Century and there's that extra bit of room that you kind of get to stretch out really does make a difference to us. Moderate. Yes. So we did Caribbean Beach Resort, <laughs> you know, compared to the Coronado Springs. Both of those are moderate we, resorts. Actually, we did a whole video on that. We'll leave it up here yeah. for you guys. So check it out because it really does kind of help you pick, you know, which, which resorts maybe is better for you. But right. as far but as the gondola line, though. $20 more for mm -hmm. the Caribbean Beach Resort. Um, Coronado has a lot more food options. It's just a, a bigger resort. Yes. So you have a ton more food options. Mm -hmm. Coronado is off the beaten path. So if you're looking for something a little bit more secluded, Coronado is going to be a good for thing for sure. you. Yeah. Caribbean Beach Resort, man, I love it for the island vibe. Yeah. All right. I love the way the lobby smells. I love the island music. It just puts me in a really good mood. It's really super relaxing. Coronado, man, it is definitely adult Mickey. I love Coronado. So it Coronado. is serene yes. and you are off the beaten path. The rooms are bigger than the Caribbean Beach Resort. I would say though, stayed. it's very similar in size though, actually, the between the yeah, two the resorts, trees, very similar in size. Feels I, would, bigger. I wouldn't say there's enough of a size difference of the rooms mm -hmm. to really make the 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 decision on whether no, you should stay at one or Coronado the other. Coronado is more modern, sleek. Um, Caribbean Beach Resort does have that island feel, that island vibe. Um, and so I love both of those resorts for very different reasons, but you know, for twenty dollars more, and if you've never stayed on the gondola line, and you're going to Hollywood Studios and Epcot, hey, it may be worth it for you. The great thing, though, about staying at the Caribbean Beach Resort is because it, you literally have access, walking access to two gondola stations. It's true, right? So you can go get the Disney Skyliner gondola system over at Hollywood <laughs> for the Hollywood Studios line at the Caribbean Beach Resort stop, or right. you can walk over to the Riviera stop if you're close enough, depending on where you are in the resort, because it is a big resort. Some are closer to the Caribbean Beach Resort, some are closer to the Riviera. But you can take that one straight to Epcot. 
Yeah. It's so cool. it's really nice and it's super convenient if those are like two big parks that are on yeah. your agenda. Like those are like huge to you guys. I think the gondola line in that case would definitely be the way to go. The gondola resort there would be the way to go for sure. Riviera Resort. This is the value resort on the gondola line. We've never stayed at the Riviera Resort. We are comparing it to the Disney's, the Boardwalk Villas, mm -hmm. Disney's Boardwalk Villas. Yep. We've never stayed there either. Nope. So we did compare, we try to compare apples to apples. Um, so the Riviera Resort is a DVC. You do get suites. So for five people to stay there, um, the Riviera Resort was about, I don't know, 60 more dollars right. than the Boardwalk Villas. Five people staying at both places. Correct. So we never say it each. They're both beautiful. The rooms that we've seen are always beautiful. Um, the Riviera Resort, a little bit more quiet, serene, kind of tucked back. You are on the gondola line, so you are going to get great access to Epcot and Hollywood Studios. Mm -hmm. Boardwalk, you're not technically on the gondola line. However, short distance, you can walk to the gondola at, at International Gateway at Epcot. Yep. Short distance, you can walk to Hollywood Studios. Walk to Hollywood Studios, and, yeah. Um, and we were talking about it, and from the gondola line, there are actually 10 different resorts that you can access yeah. very easily. So if you're doing resort tours, man, I mean, Pop, Art of Animation, Caribbean Beach Resort, Riviera Resort, Boardwalk, Yacht Club, Beach Club, Swan, Dolphin, and the Swan Reserve. Yep. So if you're looking for food, yeah, entertainment, if you're a foodie. and you're just like hanging out at the resorts, 10 different ones on one different line is a great thing to do. Yeah. Um, if Magic Kingdom, is going to be your park of choice. The gondola line may not be the best for you. You're going to have to take a bus. You're right. You know, Animal Kingdom, you're going to have to take a bus. Right. You know, so, so those, those are not you might as, as well save the money and stay at like the all star resorts if you're trying to pinch your pennies and your park warriors. Yeah. are going to be doing a lot at the Magic Kingdom or a lot at the, anim yeah. the Animal Kingdom's the, like the first stop for the. Uh, that's right next to Animal Kingdom. So. Right. So it's kind of nice. Yeah. Um, if you're, but if, if Epcot is. Your jam, all right, or Hollywood Studios, you're going to be spending a lot of time there. The gondola line does make a lot of sense. Yep. If you have a park hopper pass and you want to go to Epcot and then park hop over to maybe the Magic Kingdom, which you can now do, the monorail's back open, you can hop on the monorail and bam, you're there. So that's also convenient too. So that may be, you know, if you've got older children or it's a couple's weekend or a couple's week and it's just you and you start at Epcot and you end with Mickey at Magic Kingdom. That may work too. Here's the thing though. Gondola system, uh, the gondola line may not be that ideal during the summer months. Oh, that's true. Rain, there, thunderstorms. If you're going during the summertime and there's all these afternoon and evening thunderstorms, <laughs> they will shut down the gondolas very quickly. Oh, yeah. All right. So you'll you, just be sitting there staring at them as they're just up there going nowhere. That did happen to us quite a bit in June when we yes, were visiting. Late June. Yep. Always very convenient in the morning. We were always able to get Super to the park convenient. that we wanted to. That was not a problem. And they did toss on tons of buses in the evenings when we were rained out from the gondola. Right. So that too was really super cool. Maybe that $60 more that you're not spending on that room because you're never in it is going to be part of your dinner. Right. Maybe the all-stars are the best way to go. They're still beautifully themed. Yeah. So yeah, it's still always a, great, a great time and a good time to stay there. And they're all being updated slowly yeah. but surely. They're All the all-star resorts are getting updated. But the rest of the time of the year, I will tell you from our personal preferences, we love the gondola resorts because there's the not a lot. gondola is the best non-ride ride at Disney. Yeah. Bar none. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 to us it's much like staying at the monorail resorts over at the Magic Kingdom. So, um, but it's except different. hundreds of dollars cheaper, thousands for the of monorail, dollars cheaper for the whole vacation. Right. <laughs> so for the monorail resorts, I did check those because, like I said, we did that random date six months out in January, and um, yeah, you could end up spending two to four hundred dollars a night more to stay on the monorail line. Which, yeah. if, if it's one night, if it's you know once in a lifetime vacation, go for it. But if you're looking for that value, then maybe the gondola resort are a little bit better for that deluxe feel. Yep. So that's our opinion, guys. I mean, we love the gondola line. We think it's totally worth the upgrade. We do. However, during the summer months, probably not, yeah, maybe not so much. that much of worth the upgrade. But and we like pop right. over Art of Animation. The suites at Art of Animation, though, are divine. Oh. And if you've got multiple people staying in the bigger suite that you can't beat we that We highly either. recommend it. Yeah, we totally highly <laughs> recommend that. Um, but, but just for a couple or a small family. Yeah, pop. the art of animation for the storage. Or the bigger, yeah. you know, the bigger rooms. The pop century yeah. for the storage, yeah. yeah. So I would Oops, sorry, definitely yeah. recommend that. It just, mm -hmm. there's more room. There is. 
So guys, those are our thoughts. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Yeah. So leave them there for us. Uh, if you will, give this video a big thumbs up and share it. Let's go ahead and ding that notifications bell. That way you're gonna know every time we go live or we put up a video or a short. And guys, <laughs> smash the subscribe button. Just smash it. And until next time, get out there, have some fun, and, and we'll, we'll see you on, on the flip, flip side. side.